Hebrews 11.3 tells us that by faith we understand that the worlds were framed for the things that we see were made from things unseen. That's an incredible scripture to understand when it comes to appreciating what happens when we pray. See, that scripture talks about the same world around us, the physical world. This physical world around us actually came from a spiritual world. The spiritual world created this physical world. The Bible also says that God is spirit. God is a spiritual being. And out of the spirit world, he spoke this world into existence. That tells me the spirit world is superior to this world because this world came out of that world. It's kind of like the spirit world is a parent world to this world. Another important concept to understand is the fact that you as a human being, you're not just a physical body. You are a spirit being and you live in a physical body and you have a soul. And what that means is your body is not you. Your body is gonna die one day, but you are actually gonna live forever. Every single human being is spiritual. Every single human being is actually eternal. Why is that? Because when God created Adam in, uh, in the book of Genesis, we see that God breathed into a shell. God formed Adam from the dust of the earth. And then God breathed into Adam. And the Bible says, Adam, became a living soul. Adam only became a living soul after the breath of God came into him. Before the breath of God came into Adam, he was just a body, he was just a shell. So what made Adam living was the breath that came from God. That breath is spiritual substance and that breath is eternal substance. And every human being has that breath in them, whether they know Jesus or not. So the essence of life is actually spiritual. So you're not just a physical being. You're not a physical being having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a physical experience because the essence of life is spiritual. So just like Hebrews 3 tells us that the world worlds were framed, where the things that we see came from an unseen world, in the same way you came from an unseen world, a spiritual world. Now the reason why this is very important is when we pray, we engage in spiritual activity. Prayer is a place where the physical world meets the spiritual world. Prayer is the place where humanity meets divinity. It is spiritual exercise when we choose to pray. We engage in his spiritual realities. Many times people find prayer boring because as human beings we're more tuned in to the physical world around us than we are to the spiritual world around us. And this all goes back to the fall when Adam sinned in the garden. When Adam was created he was, he was more aware of the spiritual world than he was just the physical world. Adam was able to talk to God. Adam was able to have communion with God and that was in weird. Now God is spirit and Adam being a physical body but also spiritual was able to engage with God in a spiritual way. So Adam was aware of both the spiritual world and the physical world. Actually, Adam was more conscious of the spirit world. It was kind of like spirit, soul and body. Then after the fall, after Adam sinned and sin came into the world, they became a reversal, became body, soul, and spirit. So right now, we are more conscious of the body and the physical world than we are the spiritual world. But that's not to say the spiritual world is not there. It is all around us and we exist in a spiritual world. We exist in a spiritual dimension. And the sooner we realize it, the better it is for us. And many times we don't enjoy prayer because we're not engaging with the reality of the spiritual world. And I always love to say, if we really would see what happens when we pray, I'm telling you, you will never want to miss a prayer meeting if you really saw what happened in the spiritual world. You know, just like you have eyes and nose and mouth and ears, you also have spiritual eyes, you have spiritual nose, you have spiritual mouth, you have spiritual ears. So you have spiritual senses. And the more those senses are awakened, the more you're able to engage in spiritual realities that are already there around you. It's kind of like radio waves. You know, radio waves are already here right now. They're already there around you. But the fact that you don't see them does not mean they don't exist. All you need is the right equipment to tune into what already exists in the atmosphere. In the same way, there's spiritual activity going on around us all the time. 
as you tune in with the right equipment, which is your relationship with God and your heart being connected with God, you're able to tune into what God is actually doing in the atmosphere around you. And the more you engage your spirit, the more you start to enjoy prayer because you're not just going with your physical feelings, you're engaging your spirit because you are a spirit being. Just think about an object that's casting a shadow. If you wanna move the shadow around, you don't move the shadow by trying to move the actual shadow. You move the shadow around by moving the object that's casting the shadow. That's a picture of how spiritual realities impact physical realities. If you want to change things in this world, you have to change things in the spirit world. This world is like a shadow of the spirit world. To have impact in this world, we need to shift things in the spirit world. It's kind of like when you go to the cinema to watch a movie and everything just looks amazing. You're watching like an epic battle scene where you can hear the sound effects, you can see the graphic effects, and it all feels incredible. I would like you to imagine you were on the film set while that scene was being filmed. Seeing the actors move their swords around and do all their crazy stunts will not feel as epic as when you watch it back in the cinema with all the final production added. And I think that's a picture of what prayer looks like many times. In the natural, when we begin to pray, you don't feel much happening. But in the spirit realm, imagine all the production has been added. Imagine the sound effects, imagine the graphic effects, and it looks epic. So I want you to think about this. When you feel prayer is boring, actually, prayer may feel boring in the natural, but in the spirit, prayer is epic. And so much is shifting, so much is moving. So many crazy things are happening when you decide to pray. I want to invite you into this reality because what this would do is when you pray, you pray in faith. You don't pray just by the fact that you feel good or you don't feel good. You pray knowing that your words actually have an impact in the spirit world. And if you don't give up, you will see the manifestation of what you're praying in the natural world.